समथिंग Okay, are you getting the points? What I'm trying to say. Hello. Yes, sir. Yeah, pie chart is when we want to show the you know, share of a particular category. Ah, uh, for example, you can take uh, let uh, let's take an example. Suppose ah uh, we are interested to show the results for a class president election in a school. Okay, okay. then. a uh, bar chart will be appropriate to show the count of votes okay because uh, bar chart is something uh, i mean bar chart is appropriate when we want to show the count of a category right like uh, we see uh, let me share my screen once again now is it visible yes sir okay so see let me uh, tell you bar chart is something when we are interested to show the count of category right we are interested in the counting for example let's take uh, suppose uh, yeah results uh, you know results for a class president election class president election in a school okay so results for a Class president election in a school. Okay, so see here bar chart is more appropriate because see here on the y-axis can we can show the number of votes, right? Right. Okay, and at the x-axis we can easily show the let's say a a is a student, b is a student, c is a student, d is a student. So if, if suppose this is zero, this is ten, this is twenty, this is thirty, this is forty, for example. So if we draw the bar chart, then I can easily tell the yeah maximum uh, once. Let's say this is ten and this is the forty. Yeah, from here. Yeah, see. Uh, please uh, be clear. Uh, distance between this, this all distance should be the same kind of thing. So here, okay. See, from this bar chart, I can easily tell the uh, maximum votes. Uh, is I mean, maximum votes uh, is for the student D, right? Minimum vote yes. is for the student C. So here we are interested in the count of things, right? Count of category right so in such situation bar chart is uh, appropriate now come to the pie chart pie chart is the something when we are interested to something you no know, share of a particular thing right share of a particular uh, you can say particular thing let's take an example suppose there is a manufacturing company okay so okay. Uh, uh you know manufacturer of the company or owner of the company uh, might be interested to show the you know uh, he is he, he might be interested to show uh, i mean uh, breakdown of sales uh, for each items throughout the year right for example let's take suppose this is the uh, this is my pie chart there are uh, let's take four uh, items is produced by I, i mean manufactured by the company then i can say yeah a percent of the items is sold by okay b percent is items there is a c percent there is a d percent or you can say uh, throughout the year 
uh, a percent share is the from a item a b percent share is of item b and c percent share is item d so d percent is share of the item d and you very well know the total summation should be how much 100, 100. Yeah, that that is the meaning of to compare the share of a particular thing right so here we, we are interested in how much share is by product a how much share is by product b how much share is of product c and how much share is of product d is it clear okay. yes sir yes sir yes, sir. yes so in which equity you had doubt 2.3 right yes uh 2.3 yeah which question question number two and three okay so what is the question number two in which of the following cases is a bar chart better than a pie chart to represent categorical data okay so now which uh, we have discussed a few minutes before on behalf of yes. that so tell me which answer should be correct yes sir first is right sir first is right and the second, second is also right. right. Which one? Second. Okay, second is right. And? That's it? Yes, not yes, okay. Sir. Yeah, let's check the answer. Which should, what should be the answer according to you? Uh, yeah, yeah, correct answer is this. Why third is not correct? Because third is something distribution of CR of words. Here we in the third option we are interested in the share of something which we have discussed right share of a particular thing so share of words we see we took the I took the example of number of words but if it's share of words how much share is there then pie chart will be applicable so now uh, is it clear then you can use the bar chart then you can use the pie chart yes sir got it okay now come to the third question okay so according to Third question, tell me which option should be correct. You know what option is the Pareto chart? Pareto chart, what is the Pareto chart? Pareto sir, chart is nothing but. Yes, sir. It's a sorted bar chart. Yeah, it's, it's a sorted bar chart. But In it must be building. clear. Uh, yeah. The thing should be clear. What if your uh, categorical data is ordinal? Then bar chart must preserve the order no i have a let's, doubt in this okay, question okay. yeah 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 for, for the whatever, third yeah. option let's, is let's... to compare different groups and not worry about the order of frequency so yeah, this okay. is also correct maybe why see pareto chart then you can make the pareto chart then uh, you have to order the frequency right but third yeah, option yeah, is correct, yeah, yeah, yeah. okay sir right okay is it clear? Yes, sir. And yes. We, we see second option is not correct because it's uh, asking about share or proportion of something. So it will be so the pie chart. It will be the pie chart. Okay. Sir, so uh, it clear? Hmm? Yeah. In this, uh, if it is a nominal scale, uh, the fourth one oh, yeah. can be right, right? Large num when when it is large number, uh, Pareto chart hmm. is better uh, illustrated the situation, right? Yeah, it depends. So uh, because see. Uh, it depends what is the large number of categories it suppose normally in lecture we do it was discussed like if you have bar chart in your large number of category if you remember that cricket players right number of people who are uh, like the no, different cricket players it was something like that so it depends so there are a lot of categories one 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 two 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 and all things so we can uh, i mean merge them but uh, we can uh, merge uh, all those categories. So that is the something different thing. But here in the question, it was asking about the uh, pie chart is suitable to present the represent the categorical, I mean, categorical variable. Uh, is it clear or any doubt in this? Prashant, uh, just a comment here. Uh, yeah. So when we look at that fourth statement, mm -hmm. that itself is not, I would say, a hundred percent. What do you call it? Complete to decide. Uh, complete to decide okay. whether a Pareto chart is. See, I'm just coming from a functional, you know, point, right? When okay. in the industry, mm -hmm. when we have lot of categories, we still use Pareto's. 
So maybe uh, that could be very defined. I will just just uh, you know remark. That. Okay, okay, okay. I say we'll check about that. Thank no, you. We'll check. Uh, yeah, yeah we'll correct. check and uh, we'll correct accordingly. Yeah, thank you, sir. But uh, I think, uh, but for now, I think first option is the correct one. Second is you know why it is incorrect, and third, you know why is it incorrect, right? Yeah, clear. I mean, any doubt? Yeah, any doubt in this? No, sir. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, we were discussing about the when your our categorical data is ordinary, right? If you know, so suppose my categorical data is ordinal. So can you tell me? Uh, so par charts must preserve the order, right? Right, sir. Okay. So what is the meaning of this line? Any on any one of you wants to uh, tell or explain? So is it an increase in order? So can you repeat? I'm saying when my category, see, what is the Pareto chart? Pareto chart is something when we uh, sorted our frequency data, right? But suppose my categorical data is a, is a ordinal data, right? Then bar chart must preserve the order. Are you agree with this statement or yes, not? Sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Why is th is that so? Any one of you wants to explain why any example? Ordinal data always have an order. That's why ordinal data has a ranking. Like suppose suppose I have order, yeah. order should be followed, and uh, if order is not followed, it leads to confusion. And so, bar chart must preserve order. Okay, let's take. I have example of this, right? I have four small size t-shirts, three medium size t-shirts, uh, two large size t-shirts, and five uh, XL. Okay. Then can I draw a pair two here? No, sir. No, this sir. Also, should be normal. It would be this is the ordinal data. Can draw a pair yeah, two, this sir. is the ordinal data. So order should preserve, right? That means first is uh, first bar should be of small size. Then, uh, medium size, okay. Then, uh, large yeah. size, and then Excel. extra large, okay. So here, yeah, order is preserved, okay. So in such situation, we have to use the bar chart. So, so Pareto chart cannot be made through ordinal data. See, you can. It's it's not like you cannot made, but it's something best practice, right? See, is there meaning? Uh, is there any meaning if you do like large, then medium, then small, then uh, Excel? I mean, there is, uh, I mean, absence of, uh, I mean, we are liking for ordinal data, right? If you if you do like that, then we are liking for the ordinal data. So, okay, so. okay. are you getting my point? So, if your data is so, uh, ordinal, then we have to preserve the order. Okay, we must so, uh, bar chart must preserve the order, and in, if it's nominal, then you can sort your frequency in increasing or decreasing order. Then accordingly, you can draw your parallel chart. Okay, sir. In every situation or any question of ordinal data, we have to sing the order there. We cannot like. Yes, yes. We have to see the. Point. I mean, bar chart uh, must preserve the order. That's it. Okay, sir. Yeah, yeah. After Pushpanjali, Polo full name is not shown to me. So I have now. Uh, Pushpanjali, right? Who has doubt? Sir. Yes, sir. Uh, one second. Let me see who is this. So, uh, uh, any any one of you have doubt related to this? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, yeah, one by one. Yeah, one by one. Who has doubt related to this? Thing? Yes, sir. I'm okay. having doubt in practice assignment two seventh problem, sir. Okay, Sai Kiran, right? Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, yeah, uh, in this practice assignment. Practice assignment two seventh problem, sir. A four five six. Okay, you understood the 
four, five, six, and seven. I, I mean, yes, four, sir, five, yes, sir. Six. I, yes, sir. I got them, sir. Seventh one, I'm not okay. understanding why median is not change. Why median is not? Which, why median does not change? Which options should be correct? Yeah, according to you, which options should be correct? A uh, median can be changed, sir. If 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 the A and B size sizes are like. Uh, small and large it can be anything we can't say a and b small or medium it can be anything so median can also be changed i think sir okay yeah any one of you were able to solve this question so uh, we would uh, we would yes, like to uh, i mean you can go ahead and uh, explain hello Hello. Yes. Hello. Yeah, yeah. Hello. Anyone of you wants to explain this question? So more days. Explain yeah. on more times, sir. Explain on more times. Yeah, yeah. Explain. See, question is about players A and B have identified their preferred jersey sizes based on the information on the data from questions 4 and 5 and their preferences have been added to the existing data set what can be said about the median of the new data set what is the 4 and 5 uh, let me read the question contract for sport jersey of 45 players in the team is being to be the players except to give their preferred size from if player A knows the most of the players have a similar physique to him, which jersey can he order? Okay. Five is 43 chosen jerseys are arranged in increasing sizes. So if player B knows that his size jersey is approximately equal to the jersey size of the player with the 22nd rank. Okay. So, yeah. From here, uh, can, it, uh, it is clear uh, player A is choosing the Mode, uh, mod size, mod right, and yes, player B is interested in medium. the me median yeah. size. Okay, yes, sir. So yes, sir. Your doubt is uh, why median cannot be, I mean, why yeah. median does not change, right? Right, yes, sir. So, median okay. does not change, yeah. Okay, yeah. Uh, one second, yes, sir. Yeah. So is my screen visible? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Suppose uh, initially it was uh, let's take example. Okay. So suppose initially it was 40, 43, right? Yes, sir. That 40. Means, yeah, 43. Yeah, sir. Let's yeah, take, sir, 43. Uh, let's take S as a me um Okay, let's take uh, M here and there. Okay, so yeah, another M for uh, I mean, I'm taking a example, right? So, yes, sir. Yeah, so this is a large size. Okay, so suppose this is sir, how, can, how can we arrange 21 S, sir? Yeah, it's I'm taking just an example. No, no worries. Uh, we'll take different cases. Okay, yeah, no worry sir, about yeah, it. Yeah, sir, yeah, I'm yeah, taking sir. just an example. Yeah. Okay, okay suppose sir. this is the yeah. So yeah. So initially, suppose in this case, what is the median? This S size? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Let's S take. is the median. Okay, suppose um A is taking uh mod size, right? So here mod sir. is S. Yes. Median is also S. Yes, sir. That means what? A also choose the S size and B also choose the S size, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That means uh, you uh, there is two more S. Yes, sir. Right? Are you getting my point? If, if A is that S, means the median does not change. See, see, yeah, we'll take different uh, types of things. So yes, here, uh, suppose in, the, in this case, initially it was four, four, in the case of 43, 43 players, yes, uh, 22 was, I mean, a small size was the median, right? 
Yes, sir. It is medium. The seventh question. It was also saying A is choosing the mod size and B is choosing the median size. Yes, so sir. So here, median size is what? S. Yes, sir. And mod is also S. So suppose this is uh this uh yeah one second. Let me use the different color. This suppose this yellow is chosen by the A, and yes, let's sir. say this green is chosen by the B. You yes, got sir. it? Yes, yes, sir. Uh, mod is chosen by now. From here, if you see. Yes, sir. Uh, if you go up to forty, up to go for, uh, if you go up to forty-five, right? That means yes, forty-three is the median in case of forty-five. Yes, sir. If you take A is equal to S, B B is equal to S, then definitely median yeah. does not change. Median does not change. Okay. Yes, sir. Let's take example of here. Suppose this is M. Yes, sir. This is M size. Then in the yes, initially sir. it is uh, what is this? This is uh, mod is uh, S. Right, yes, sir. Body size. Median, median is M, right? Yes, sir. Median is but M. But your B size chosen the median, sir. But here we we can't say that mod is S. Maybe there are more number of M's. Yeah, I'm see. I'm taking the different examples. That's why yes, I'm trying to show why median doesn't not change. If you took, then things yes, will be shifted. Yes, sir. Right. See here, median. Well, I mean, median was M size, right? Yes, S, sir. Uh, is a choose the S size, then yes, B sir. choose the M size. Then M again, me, uh, mo, uh, median is M size. Yes, sir. Median does not change. Yeah. Okay. Yes, Let's sir. take this all things as M. Yes, sir. Okay. One second. For example, here. Here, what is this? M is the mod and M is the median. Yes, sir. M is mod. M is median. Again, again, M A choose the M. Then one more M will be there, and median will be shifted. So here median again doesn't not change. Yes, sir. Median does not change. So are you getting what is the things? Things is nothing but the what is about median. <clears throat> When B knows what is B B knows B knows that the twenty second size jersey is the size of his jersey, right? Yes, sir. So when we increase one number, it will be shifted. That's it. That means uh, median will be shifted. I mean, median doesn't not change. Sir, it's like like uh, we can like uh, if twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three are XL large, then it may be different. Okay, sir. Okay, let's take as large. Okay. I'm like okay. Uh, like instead of yeah. small and medium, small, medium, large, XL can also be different, sir. Yeah, anything can be there, but in option, in options, we are considering small and medium kind of things. Small yes, sir. Things. Yes, sir. In the option. Suppose for 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 you accordingly. Suppose large is the medium. Uh, median. Yes, large is the medium. For example. Okay, yes, sir. Suppose rest of the things are Excel here from here. Uh, one second. Okay. So here Excel is yes, uh, ten. Uh, rest of the things. Suppose in this case. Yes, sir. Uh, Excel will be mod. Yes, sir. Because Excel, Excel, is, Excel is more number. Now, um, uh, one second. It's twenty-five to forty-three. That means eighteen is the Excel, and uh, let's take yeah. Then Excel is the mod, and yeah, sir. Uh, your uh, medium, uh, sorry, median is large size. Yes, sir. If A took the uh, Excel, okay, then yes, sir. Uh, one one things will be shifted. Yes, sir. If A took the Excel. Hmm. Mod does not change. Mod doesn't change. Mod is the, we are, we have to consider here median. Then large will be the median in in this case or as well. Yes, yes sir. sir. Because things will shift it to upwards. That's it. So what is the things? Things will shift it uh, one right or left. That's it. So are you getting why median doesn't not change here? Sir, I am not getting it. Yes, sir. I too not getting. See if if we if if hmm. a is equal to uh. One value top and the D is equal to down value. Then the median may change, no sir. Okay, so tell me according to you. Tell me yeah, any number of S size, any number of M size. Accordingly, we'll we'll check. So can you please explain us from the start? Because I'm not getting it. Okay, have you understood? Can I add? Uh, maybe you're forget. Uh, we need to sort the data. So are you forgetting the sorting part? No, we have sorted already. 
small medium large and excel yeah 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 i understand if it shorted then it's, no no yeah, way of that... adding out top and bottom i understand so it's the is it clear it's the count that matters it's a little bit yeah. confusing sir <laughs> no no it's not confusing sir, you have to thank think you then can you please explain from the start okay uh, i want to understood the question number i mean 4 5 and 6 Sir, I have a doubt in fourth question. Okay, Nis. Uh, who has the who has asked this seven question? Sai Kiran, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, logic. Yeah, you got you got this concept. Uh, yes, sir. But I will think about it, sir. Like I watch yeah, it. Yeah, kindly again. think about this. Yeah, kindly think yes, about sir. that. Just take yes, different sir. type of example. Okay, cases. Yes, sir. Okay. Try to think why it is happening, right? So I took okay, sure, uh, four sure. to five cases, but in each case, sure. median does not change. Why? Sure, it's because we know that the median. Yes, some background noise. Chotti jai. Thirty saal ko bata rahe the, to thirty saal ko bata rahe the. Yeah, it's okay, sir. Yeah, yeah, it's okay, sir. Maybe I'm little getting clear. I will oh, do it again, sir. Yeah. Okay. So it's something yeah, nothing sir. but just a B size. What B size knows? B knows yes, that. Yes. Uh, Twenty-five. 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 To previous median size in the arrangement of forty-five jersey, see suppose at the twenty-two M is there, right? One yes, jersey is increased in case of M, then yes, it just shifts to twenty-three. Yes, sir. Are you getting? Are you getting? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. In the case of yeah, wrong sir. In the case of forty-three jersey, twenty-two yeah, is the median. Yes, sir. Twenty-two is the median. In case right. of forty-five, twenty-three no. is the median. So, in the case of forty-five, <clears throat> median will be what? Suppose we choose the this is the M size, for example. Okay. Yes, Then sir. one one more median will be there. Suppose this is the twenty-two, this is the twenty-third. One more median will be there. But in the case of forty-five, twenty-third observation yes, is the median. Yes, sir. Twenty-third observation. Your median doesn't change. This year round. This year round. Yeah, sir. Yeah, sir. Kindly mute. Ah, they just don't do that. Sir, just throw the model. Ah, ji, this is a cut. Sir, repeat. Have you done? Okay, so Sai Kiran, is this clear now? In the seventh, seventh question. Yes, sir. It is clear, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Thank you, sir. Ask. Okay, let me. Who has asked from initial? So I asked fourth question. Okay, fourth. Yeah, one second. उटिंग Second is correct, but why is the third is not correct? It can be the median also if it will be the most. Okay, okay, okay. See, it can be median. So can you tell me? Ah, uh, fourth is correct, right? As I can check. Yeah, See. Sir. Okay. So can you? Ah, uh, ah, uh, are you aware? Of, suppose uh, to disprove anything, one contradictory example is sufficient. Yes. Can right. Am I right? What you have said right now. Sorry. Can you repeat? I'm saying to disprove anything. Okay, a contradictory example is sufficient. Yes, sir. Okay. So see, in the <clears throat> what is that question? Yeah, 
so player a knows that the most of the players have a similar physique to him yeah which can he have? yeah so he knows that means he can order the size m when it is the mod he can order the size s when it is the mod he can order the uh, size s when it is the median so you have doubt why it is not about the uh, third option I mean, why m is third option okay see Suppose S is uh, let's take a uh, uh, kind of this. Okay. Let me minimize one. Time. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Okay. Suppose S is up to twenty times, right? Okay. Now, suppose M is okay. No, what is the if M is the mod, then why, uh, when he, uh, why it cannot be the median? Yeah, okay, yeah. Uh, sorry, sorry about that. Let's take different example. Suppose this is S, S, okay. Then your medium size is started, okay. So, medium is up to let's take up to 20, okay. This is two. Okay, this is suppose this is 18. Okay, so I can take 18, 19, 20, 21. No, 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 18. This is 2. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. This is this would be uh, 21, 22, 23. And suppose Excel is started from here on. So, what will, uh, what will be the median in case of 43 jersey? So, uh, observation uh, jersey and, as the 22nd number of places, right? So, here if you see this. my M is the mod, right? In this case, my M is the mod, right? But median is not, my median is not. So, in this case, I mean, you can perform a lot of cases in which median. Uh, I mean, size M is not median uh, of the data. So, in general, we cannot say M is the mod and M is the median as well. Is it uh, clear or not? Hello? Yes, sir. Yeah, is it clear? Because, sir. see. We cannot say in general ki, uh, like uh, size M jersey is the median of the data set. So, but in the and question, it was written that if M is the median, then, but so we, uh, if M is the median, like, uh, so it can mm -hmm. also be more to, because we will, we will see the median. It can be, but it order. can be some cases. Yeah, Janvi, you are right. It can be some cases, but it cannot be in general. Right. Let's take example of S size. Suppose S is the up to 22, right? Up to 22 places. And there is uh, some uh, M and uh, there is some L and uh, suppose Excel. So 22 places is the median. Yes. So here in this case, if S size is the median, then S will be more as, uh, as well because it will appear more number of times. So I totally understood points? about this S thing because it will be the starting yeah. of uh, order. So yeah, if it is yeah, going yeah. to the median point, mm -hmm. so then it will be the median two and mode two. Okay. But I'm only asking about the medium, median, median size, which That's, is M. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. See, see. In confused. this case, it, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Yeah, Janvi, please uh, listen to me carefully. In this case, we are sure. I mean, if S is the median, then S will be mod as well. Right? Yes. In this case, we are sure. There is nothing in any case which, uh, which can contradict this thing for S size. Right? But in the M size, one contradictory example is sufficient to disprove that thing. It means we cannot say in general. Yeah. Our, it, uh, it is, uh, I'm agree, like, suppose this is S size and three times, 
and this is suppose m is appears up to let's say up to uh, 30 places and then large and suppose xl is there for some number then here in this case m is the mod and m is the median it is right but we we cannot say for all the cases we are not sure suppose i am taking an example of let's take uh, suppose this is the 20 times s right and then 3 times m that means 21 22 23 then last size is started and excel and so on so here m is the median right but s is the mod yes sir okay let's take another so example we have to take only one contradictory example not not in all the cases we have to see yeah yeah that's why i'm saying suppose this is m appears up to 20 let's take okay then l is started then l is started then l is then xl is started okay so this is 21 place this is 22 this is 23 so here if you see median is what large size m is the mod okay but in this case is m size is median as well no so we cannot not say in general but if you see in the case of s size if it is median I mean, if it's, uh, it occurs more number of times, it is median and mod, both, both. is possible. We, there is not uh, any contradictory example in this case. Is it clear? Yes, we sir. We cannot say in general. It, it, yeah, it can happen, it can happen in this case, case uh, that is mod and median, but it, we cannot say in general. Are you getting? But in some cases, we can have M yeah, as it, median yeah, and yeah, mod too, yeah. no? Yeah, this this case. That's why I took this case. And if you see, this case is the contradict the previous one. So, so you are you are general. trying to say that if any one case also contradicting this equation, so it is wrong. Yeah, yeah. Okay, then so we can we can't, can't say in general. But in the case of size s, we you can easily say if s is median and mod, then it is both correct. Okay, so understood. Okay, yeah. Thank you. So and after you. Now seven yeah, 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 please. Um, can you please explain it again? Seventh Third question. Same question, fourth one. Uh, fourth, uh, is the, it clear now or any doubt in this? Uh, Prashant, may or I try here? Option four. In fourth question, why option four? I didn't get. Okay, so see. Please explain is, misleading graph. Yeah, yeah, I will come to you. Yeah, suppose S is the median, right? That means S will be up to 22nd places? Yeah, in total 43. 43. Then in this case, S is the median also. And here in this case, S appears more number of times. That means S is the mod as well. Sir, sir how uh, we decided that S is uh, on the 22nd place? See, that is the something you, you have to think, think miss. Suppose, what is the uh, fourth example, uh, fourth option? Fourth option is, he choose the, uh, I mean, what was that? Uh, one second. Now, Prashant, if you can give me a minute, I can clarify. Side judge, jersey, yeah, yeah, yes, please, go ahead. Yeah, it will be too uh, late. Is it fine? Yeah, yeah, is that fine? Yeah, it's yeah. okay. It's... See, if you can look at the chart, the chat, right? I think, uh, um, you know, the answer is, you know, coming out. I think what we need to understand is we are dealing with the unimode or unimodal, right? Uh, data. Yeah, that means only, mod, only one mode will be there. Correct. So if yeah. we can assume that, then it will be much better to understand, you know, why the correct option is there. Yeah, see, uh, her doubt is about why the fourth option. Yeah. Okay? Yeah, so fourth option is size at jersey, if it is the median of the size of the jersey, right? Suppose uh, size at jersey, when it will be uh, median, when it will be suppose up to 22nd place? Yes. Okay, let's take uh, the sizes are uh, medium size and large size at XL, whatever it is. So in this case, if S is the median, okay, then in this case, S occurs 22 times as well, more number of times, that means this is the mod as well. 
And yes, sir. Yes, case, sir. I got it. Uh, if S will in that place mm. now, if you say yeah, if, yeah. yeah, yeah, but we didn't consider so, it. No, no. See, what is the median? You have to arrange the data in the ascending order. Then up to uh, for being the S as the twenty second place, that means before uh, uh, that all the places S is there. Because in median, we have to arrange the data in ascending order. First small size okay. insert, then medium, yeah, yeah. then large, then XL. Yeah, 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 sir. Yeah, got I it. I think you got confused about uh, it. It might be arranging. M, 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 yes. M, M, and then at the twenty second place S, right? No, that yeah, is the sir. not. Yeah. We have to consider well, median. How you can compute the median means you have to arrange the data in ascending yes. order. Yes, now sir. is it clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you, God. Okay. Yeah. So there is raise hand. I can see Jolis raise hand. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, yeah, Jolis. Please. Yeah, this is regarding uh, pie chart. Okay. Can we, if it okay. is an ordinary or ordinal scale uh, and the relative mm -hmm. frequency, can we plot in a pie chart? Yeah, yeah. Then, uh, uh, do, uh, then if there is a case, do we have any standard convention? Uh, like because the order is gone right in the pie chart. So, do we have any clockwise or anti-clockwise? Any directions in that? Uh, I don't think so. Because see, in the pie chart is something three sixty degree, right? Yeah. And you must be clear. The sum of the all slices should be one. I mean, hundred percent. First thing, if the objective is you are interested to show the share of something. I mean, share means uh, how much share is a uh, suppose a share of uh, item A is fifty percent, share of item two is eighteen uh, percent, share of item A C is something, share of item D is something. Then we can use the pie chart. I mean, we pie the pie chart is uh, using the pie chart is the best practice in the case of uh, when we are interested to show the share of a something. That is the funda. So yeah. Please, uh, that's you... still in the seventh question. In the seventh, still you have doubt. Sir, in seventh, I'm having doubt. Okay, so what? What I mean? What is the exactly your doubt? So from the start, I didn't understand it. I didn't get it. Okay, so the start means uh, why Take median class, does not change? Class. Yeah, yeah. Okay, see. So can oh, you please explain on that slide only? Yeah, this one. Yeah, see. Suppose uh, S is the here. Let's take example of suppose all this up to uh, 20. Yeah, one second. Suppose up to 20, S is there, right? And from 21, M is started. Okay, so let's take from 25, let's take up to 30 M is there. And after that, uh, suppose uh, L is there up to 37 and uh, up, up uh, after this uh, XL is there. Okay, so in the case of 43 Jersey, what is, what will be the median? Things at the 22nd place. Okay. And you know in the uh, from the fourth and five question, A choose the uh, mod of the uh, jersey size and B choose the median, right? Okay. So A here A is what A A A will choose the S size T-shirt because S is the mod here. Are you getting? Yes, sir. So if S a will choose S, then one S will be increased here, right? Yeah, for the order, it will be increased. For the order. Yes. And in the case of middle size, uh, middle size jersey, I mean, this uh, in the in this first row, M as the 21st place will be shifted to the 22nd place onwards, right? Yes, sir. Then in the case of 45, the I mean, jersey number at the 23rd place will be the median. In this case, your okay, media, okay. Uh, median yes. was middle size. In this case, so again, median, median, so median, median, so median, median doesn't not change. Yes, I mean, yes. it will shift to 
right that's it so but there are also hundred of cases in which median will change but uh, in this also we can take just tell me according to you i will take that example just tell me according to number of observation i will take that i'm trying to ask that in this also we can take contradictory uh, situations too yeah we can take contradictory just think and let me know is there any contradictory or not okay sir if m will be the more than m will be the median then then again see here in the question we are interested yeah. only about median median is changing or not right so yeah. suppose m is the median suppose from uh, let's take from here m is there all things are m right okay suppose m is the so in this Suppose case, all the things uh, are median will not change. M will be the median. And median will not be changed. Yeah. See, just see what happens in the initially it is to, uh, median as the twenty second place. In the case of forty five, median will be shifted twenty third. That's it. Okay, sir. But in cases of L and XL places, it will change. It will change what median? Yes, sir. Why? Because uh, if L is the median, suppose L is the median. Uh, Again, uh, see, suppose in in this red red, red uh, color, L is there, right? Yes. Sir. That means median is twenty two. Suppose B choose the median, then L will shift it to the fourth twenty third. Again, L is the median. Uh, okay, sir. Okay. 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 Got it. Yes. Sir. Yeah. Thank you, sir. So. Yeah, Ravi has resigned. Yeah, Ravi, uh, do you have any doubt? I'm sorry. Uh, can you come back to Pareto chart, sir? Pareto chart on my slides. Uh, uh, the photo, the the picture, the picture, the picture. Ah, yes, sir. So, uh, okay, in your example, yeah, in your example, yeah. Sorry, mm -hmm. can you come back? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. In your example, you're showing there are four small, three medium, two large, mm -hmm. five XL. Mm -hmm. uh, sir, mm -hmm. but your bar chart shows SML XL. Uh, I'm not able to understand. Are we doing it uh, as in the the label wise or numerically speaking? Because Pareto should be either increasing or decreasing, right? No, 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 no. It's not about Pareto. I had I had asked question. Suppose. Our yeah, categorical yeah, yeah, is yeah, ordinal. Yeah, yeah. In then, this case, it has to preserve an order. But uh, so, but that's why that's why I plotted this bar chart. Okay, I you I I write the Pareto. I was asking the question whether I can use the Pareto or bar chart. So that's why I write the Pareto. We have to use the bar chart, and that bar chart must preserve the order. That's it. It might be like suppose this is four, this is five, this is six, this is seven. Okay, then it will be Pareto as well. But we must preserve the order that is the thing uh, okay so is it clear yeah so your picture was a question mark to us question no no your your uh, drawing of this uh, sml excel bar chart was a question to us and not an answer yeah no it's what it was answer uh, as well and question as well see so how what, can this be an answer sir? Thing? sir because if see. It it has to be increasing or decreasing. I mean, in this if, for no, example, no, no, in Ravi, this case, Ravi, Ravi, yeah, yeah, Ravi, Ravi. What what was the thing? Suppose my categorical data is a in or it's original, right? Then bar chart must preserve the order. Bar chart must preserve the preserve the order means you have to uh, use the. I mean, first bar should be of uh, small size, then medium size, then large size, then XL size. What is the Pareto? Then you sorted your frequency. Sorted means sorted frequency means suppose a small size is up to two. Okay, let's take four. Medium is three. Large is five. And XL is let's take two. Then when you can use Pareto chart, then uh, two, three, four, and five. That means XL, uh, medium. S and L. So here, order of the data is not preserving. I mean, order of the data is fails. So we cannot use such uh, this kind of things. We must preserve the order. That is the funda. That's uh, we I have discussed. Is it clear or I, any doubt in this? No, I understood that. But I think you showed this graph after explaining the Pareto thing. 
Pareto. No, I was explaining uh, Pareto. What is the Pareto? In uh, yeah, there was a question in activity. After that, we discussed this one. Okay, I took the example. I took the example of this teaser side. Uh, just objective was just to uh, if data is ordinal, then we have to preserve the order. That's it. Nothing what. Uh, nothing okay. 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 All right. Sorry, sorry. Yeah. Those data also we have to preserve the order. No, because in Pareto we have frequency. to maintain increasing or or decreasing irrespective of the label. Yeah, irrespective of the label. Okay. 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 So okay, we have got to it. consider got about it. the number of observations, right? I mean, yeah, frequency the count, of the count. data. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah it's count. It. Not about okay, the uh, ordinal data. Yes. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. So I am asking so, that. Uh, we should Hello, have the order. What about what, which order you are talking about? A by x is break. So in Pareto chart, we have like, like we have an ordinal data, but frequency hmm. of them differ the order. Then that's okay. why I took this example. Then we, uh, if data is ordinal, then we have to uh, consider about the order. Means small, then medium, then large, then Excel. Nothing. Yeah. No need to worry about the frequency of these. We have to Pareto just consider. Right See what is the Pareto? Pareto is nothing but when you, ah, uh, one second. Suppose A is something occurring two times, B is something occurring one time, C is some something three times, and D is occurring two times. Okay. Yes. Then I want to uh, draw Pareto chart. Then what is this? So C then will be drawn first. B. B will be there, okay? Then let's take A, D, and C, right? That means one, two, two, three. I can draw Pareto chart uh, kind of things, or yes. in the, I mean, uh, in inverse also, right? That is the Pareto chart means we are ordering the, we are sorting the frequency. But yeah. our data is suppose ordinal means I can order my data like small size yes. T-shirt. Medium size T-shirt, large size T-shirt, Excel size T-shirts, right? That means what? The first bar should be of S. Suppose this is four, this is three, this is five, this is seven. Then we must preserve the order. Means we must keep in mind first bar should be S, M, second bar should be M, then L, then uh, your uh, Excel. It's not about uh, I am I am drawing the uh, in Pareto, like a three, so, four, five. Yeah, understood, understood. We have to consider have three. To consider uh, the three. order in every case, like in bar chart, yeah. chart if ordinal yeah. data is there. If it is an ordinal data. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Sir. Okay. Can you explain uh, question I number six of practice assignment? Yeah, point, uh, Prashant, this is a classical yeah. issue between theory and, uh, you know, what do you call it, uh, what we use in the field. Yeah. Now the question comes that. Your data set is an ordinal, okay? You have a yeah. we call it intervals, but yes. sometimes you need to do a Pareto on ordinal data. Now, when we do a Pareto on ordinal data, okay, the order will not matter. No, see, see, SJ, what is the thing? If my data is ordinal, then I have to must keep in mind about order. No, no. Theoretically, you're right, Prashant. I'm not contradicting yeah. that fact. Theoretically, you're right. Okay. In an yeah. you know, what you call ordinal, you need to maintain the order. But I'm yeah. coming we, from, we, a, yeah. from, from an application standpoint, right? Now, okay. if I have a set of data that is ordinal and I'm asked to do a mm -hmm. Pareto, which we normally do. Uh, let me give an example. Okay, let me not uh, confuse. What I'm trying to put across is that in theoretical, it is right. But yeah, practically... It's right. Practically, when we are doing a Pareto on mm -hmm. a set of data which is ordinal, uh, you know, we don't maintain the order in which it is there. It doesn't see, I think yeah. I was saying that. Yeah. I think I was saying that. Only. Yeah. Okay. You are right. Right. Let me see. It depends on the what we are doing. The, I mean, what is the objective of our analysis and all things. Okay. So, but uh, here we have we need to just understand the what is the theory and what is the concept behind. Uh, Pareto, ordinal, bar, and each and everything. That's the uh, we are. I mean, 
discussing here i mean this is the something theory which we have uh, un- which we need to understand in this foundational level course that is the uh, understood, the understood. Of- let, let's stick out yeah. to that that in order yeah, yeah. data we need to maintain the order we need to preserve the order yeah. that's why we yeah. see yeah. we that's why we are doing just uh, try to you know understand you people like uh, understood the i mean you will be able to understand what is the funda uh, ordinal data and we must preserve the order and all things so it's just uh, i mean all things uh, i mean such type of such type of things is covered in the uh, this fundamental uh, foundational level course actually. sir but don't we need to apply, apply practically the theory then when we come to apply practically then we have to go numerically and not uh, xm excel i mean cc about yeah what is the thing is depends about uh, as per i know it depends on about a objective of the things but uh, in this foundational level course such type of things is covered i mean basics of the things right so that's why i mean syllabus is uh, structured in that way i mean uh, what is the meaning uh, what i mean means uh, you have to understood the meaning of the things that is the something it is best practice to preserve the order if see then what what will be the meaning of ordinal data then what will be the meaning of data uh, of ordinal right if it's ordinal then we must preserve the order is the simple thing sir can you explain question number 6 of is, practice assignment 2.2 so is it clear to all of you I am yes, having sir. doubt in second yes, one. The okay, second so option mode have... is not necessarily equal to the jersey size of B. Ah, uh, Purnendu, right? Yes, yes. So yes, Purnendu, that's why we had discussed. Uh, I think. Uh, let me share my screen. From one hours, we are about that question. Okay, see, just try to think, Purnendu. Suppose A, you know, A will choose the model, ah, uh, model size jersey. Hmm. Right. Yes. Suppose, yeah. Let's take suppose S is the mod. For example, suppose it appears up to, ah, twenty one times. Okay. Hmm. Then ah, uh, twenty two onwards. Suppose M is there something and L is something. Okay. So sir, mm-hmm. A no, you know A choose the model size. Then suppose twenty one times is S is the mod here, right? S. Then A choose the mod. Then that means suppose this S is twenty one times. If A will choose, that means it will increase just a number twenty two times. Again, it is mod. Just ah, uh, there is what I mean, increasing in numbers. That's it. Mod will mod doesn't not change. Mod is the S remains. It will remain S. So if similarly, but can why can't it be the one that B chooses? Sorry, how how B why how mod can be changed? No, no, mod doesn't change. I totally understand that that topic. I mm-hmm. totally understand the second option. Mm-hmm. Mod is not necessarily equal to the jersey size of player B. Okay, that okay, okay. See, question. yeah. So tell me, B chosen the median size, right? Uh, but how so can we assure is, because in uh, yeah in that one we suppose median is this size right? okay so here mod is equal to median no that's why mod doesn't not necessarily to equal to the jersey size of player B but if he chooses S then it will be equal to that right because in so the what question is the op- previous what to is, that no no if you see in the option what is the option. Mod doesn't not necessarily to equal to it. It's not about mod is necessarily equal to. Hmm. Okay. So it's not necessary. Ah, uh, mod will be equal to the jersey size of player. Yeah. Is it clear? I mean, are you getting my point? Yes, sir. From above two questions, we can find that A can choose ah yeah. uh, mod S and. and- From B, ah, uh, for this next question, B can choose either an S or either an M. If it chooses M, then it will not necessarily be equal to the B. Yeah, of, yeah. Uh, See, whatever. that's why it's 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 written okay. is not necessarily, okay? Yeah. So okay. after you 
there is rays and five. Aditi has rays. Yeah, Aditi. What so is I have doubt? doubt in eleventh question of graded assignment. It's asking about ratio. So which ratio? Relativity frequency ratio or normal frequency ratio? We have to calculate in that. Okay. Okay. Let me open the. Yes, sir. Same question means how to write ratio. It is not taking the ratio, right? It can be okay. No ratio means what is the question? Let me read the question. Question: What is the ratio of uh, students secured C grade and A grade? Okay, so here you have to find how many students secured C grade. Okay. After that, divide by number of students uh, secured A grade. That's it. So it's ratio about the number of students how to write A grade yeah. and C grade. So yeah, so it suppose uh, it uh, suppose uh, C grade oh, students is uh, one second. My screen is not visible. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. So yeah. Suppose uh, you have to just find the number of students who uh, see this is you have to find the number of students who secured C grade. Okay. Divide by Number of students secured A grade. Okay, so what? Let's say this. For example, it's a. It can be two by three. So answer will be. I uh, mean something whatever in point in decimal. You you have to enter the answer. So we will so write it in decimal. So we have to yeah, write yeah. in decimal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever your answer will be, you have to write in the decimal. So okay. Okay, sir. Yeah. Yes, please. Uh, sir, when we sum and when we take a ratio, because both uh, uh, thing is like similar. Sum and ratio. Yes. What what happened? Yes. Uh, in in some questions, uh, when hmm. we talking about A and C, we take A frequency sum and C frequency sum, and then sum it yes. up and take a relative frequency. Okay. In this in in the in the graded question, it is clearly yeah. mentioned that you have to find the ratio. Okay. Ratio of students secured uh, grade C and ratio of what student of grade C and grade uh, who secured the grade A. That's it. So you have to okay. find the ratio of C to A. That oh, okay. it's not about now. What is the num total number of students uh, who secured grade C and uh, grade okay. A? Okay. 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 It's Thanks, about sir. ratio of those students. Okay. Thank you, sir. Okay. Yeah. Is this clear? Yes. 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 Sir. Okay, so after you, Adit, uh, Muskan has raised hand. Yes, sir. Yeah. What is doubt? Sir, please explain. Indicate a y-axis break with example. Indicating y-axis break. Okay. Yes. So indicating y-axis break means suppose. Okay. Suppose this is your. Uh, suppose this is from zero. Uh, let's take this is the five. This is the. Suppose this is the fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, hundred, and hundred. See, in this case, can you tell me uh, which type of graph is this? Is there any manipulated or? Uh, I mean, what is this indicating to you? Manipulated y-axis. Uh, why manipulated y-axis? Because uh, uh, data doesn't have equal intervals and yeah. it is. And we have did uh, we have done some manipulation from less initially it was zero to five, but at uh, sudden After it's that. fifty. I mean, in the y-axis there is some manipulation. We do not know what is that. Okay. Yes, for uh, for that uh, let's uh, okay. Meanwhile, uh, one second. Uh, 
say yeah let's assume such type of break is mentioned right yes sir that means initially we go uh, it okay. was 0 to 5 then there is a break in y axis there is some change in y axis after that it starts from 50 onwards so this is called y axis break okay it, if it's it's uh, if it's uh, i mean shown in the your chart that means it's not uh, manipulated if it's not present in chart that means your y axis is, uh, is manipulated but it's not represented is it clear yes sir yes what is the meaning of us yeah so after you uh rithik has raised yes rithik please what is it out practice question 2.2 practice assignment 2.2 first question first question okay yeah let me open the practice assignments So, are you able to see my screen? Hello? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We can. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, this, this uh, Rajdhani trends, right? In this question, you have doubt, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So, can you tell me what was your approach? Connect the national capital of India with states, capitals of India, and our biggest cities of the states, Rajdhani Express, running from our junction to Nizamuddin. Okay, first AC, second AC. There was okay. what is the percentage of births filled in the train on the given day? Okay. So we need to find the percentage of births filled in the train. Okay. So let's consider how many coaches for the first AC. There is only one first AC coach, right? And five second AC and nine third AC, right? Let's write this all the things. Uh, one. One uh, first AC coach, right? And five was second AC coach, right? And how many for the third? It was uh, nine. Hello, uh, am I audible, right? Yes, sir. Okay, yeah. So, yeah. So, next, uh, it, it was asking about. Uh, each of the uh, first AC, second AC, and third AC coaches has a maximum capacity of 18 births, 48 births, 64 births, right? So, on the day, 10, 1, 8 births, okay. And half of half of the second A births and 275, 3A births were filled. Okay, so just tell me uh, values, okay? So, maximum capacity of Uh, first day coach was 18, right? And maximum capacity of second day, how much it is? It's uh, 48, then 64. Okay? And maximum capacity of third AC is 64. Is it okay till now? So, how many, uh, what is what will be the total number of births in first AC coach? Hello. Hello. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, yeah. I'm asking how many total number of births should will be in the first uh, in first AC coach? Eighteen. Eighteen. Okay. Because see, there is only one first AC coach, so 
total births will be 18 right in the second ac course there are five second ac course right and yes. maximum capacity in the second ac is 48 in the 48. only one coach so for the five coaches it will be 5 into 48 240 it's, it will be 240 similarly for the third ac coach it will be 9 into 64 Good. that means it will be in, uh, 6 and 76. Uh, 576. 576 will be the total number of so question is on the given uh, day 10 the first AC bursts, half of the 2A bursts and 275 3A bursts will uh, fill, right? So that means number of. Are you getting my point, right? So, okay, so it is 10, right? And number of second AC bursts fill, how much? Half of the half of the 2a birth right so 2a birth is how much 240 right that 120 means 120 and number of 3a births will fill how many it's given already to uh, 275 right so it's 275 right now question is about what is the percentage of births filled in the train on the given day so on the given day what is the total number of things total number of things these all things 18 plus 240 plus 570 this this will be total number of birth right and on the given day field was uh, these all things 10 plus 120 plus 275 according to the condition right so it okay. will be, I think, uh, 275, 10, 130, 130, and 275, it will be 405. And it will be total, I think, uh, 240, 18, 258, and plus 576. Uh, it will be, I think, yeah, 834, right? So we have asked about percentage on the given day. That means 405 divided by 834 into. So total will be. Uh, we need to compute here, I think. Yeah, just compute the total. Total will be this quantity. So, is this clear with you? Or any yes, doubt sir. in this? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Not so, this thing is about uh, total number of uh, births. I mean, total number of births. And this is about cut according to the condition, which I mean, in the first AC birth field 10. I mean, 10 uh, first AC births which uh, were filled. And 120 uh, for the second AC and for the third AC, it is 275. So, any doubt in this? So, it was written that 10 1A births were filled and yeah. half of the 2A births. So, 2A yeah. births, uh, half of 240 will do, no? Yeah, so half of 240 is 120. Yeah, yeah. And then I'll, I'll add upon those. Yeah, you have to add the this condition. And okay. divide by total number of people. Okay. Okay. So yeah, after you after it, I think Kartikeyan has raised hand. Yes, sir. Sir, yeah, uh, yeah, can, can you just go to the activity question two point four? Fourth yeah, question. Okay. Fourth question. Okay, uh, one second. This fourth, yeah. yeah. See, my answer was uh, manipulated y axis. Okay. okay. But they said it is a missing baseline. Yeah, because there is no uh, baseline. Zero. Zero. Yeah. Okay, there is no zero. Okay, sir. Yeah. Now, That's if I mean, if I have to be consistent with this answer, there is a question hmm. in uh, practice assignment 2.1. Okay. I don't know whether you will get this question or because it is refreshing every time. Okay, we can There's check a question it. about statistics uh, teacher. Oh, one second, let me refresh. Uh, might be we can get. Okay, uh, what was in, the, in in that question? There, it is a similar question, but there mm -hmm. they have given the answer as uh, both missing baseline and then uh, Manipulated y axis. 
okay here uh, in this this is here it is only in, uh, i mean missing baseline but why yes yeah, this, this is the question okay both are similar there is no difference at all yeah one second a missing baseline is the clear right and then manipulated y axis and see except option number 3 all are given as correct answer 50 80 110 140 170 200 okay so you are saying it should be uh, both i mean that question should be uh, both See, missing this line okay okay missing this line missing this yeah scale is not matching sir you shift to 0 to 50 and 50 between 0 to 50 and 50 to 80 that scale is not the scale print but in okay, okay, yeah. question which kartik showed uh, there was matching in the in which in which yeah one second in which activity was activity 2.4 question 4 2 2.4 okay question number 4 if you see 30 35 See, both are similar. I mean, there it yeah, starts with similar. 50 and it is, I mean, incrementing by 30. Here it is incrementing by 5. Only the difference is that. The difference is there's 30 to 35 that scale and 30 to 35 to 40 that scale of the printed. And yeah, difference, yeah. that is yeah, the difference similar. scale. There the scale one is 50, yeah. 80. What is the difference? There is no, uh, it is similar. No, but it is different. The length of the yeah, one second, one second. Let me compare both one. I think there might uh, be something because if answer is given accordingly, then uh, this is okay, so it's a fifty to eighty, eighty to thirty. Like there also the there difference is... is thirty. There the difference is five. Only, I mean, uh, that is, uh, I mean, uh, difference in both these questions. No, no. If you see, if you see the difference between 30s, uh, these things is large, right? 50 80, to 80. 30. 30. But zero, and zero to, suppose zero to 50, 50 is what? 50 should be something upside, right? Yes, yes. If that scale should be like 50, then above. Yeah, the, that means above. there might be something 50. So you see the, I mean, uh, the gap between 50 to 80 is same as the gap between 80 to 110. But, but okay. uh, from 0 to 50, is uh, gap is uh, small. Uh, if you check the previous one, oh. they, they are 30, 0 to 35 is the gap is similar gap in top. Are you getting Kartika or not? Yeah. Understood. I mean, it is it's a somewhat, I mean, the question is misleading, right? If you, I mean, okay, uh... okay, okay, no, no, no not uh, misleading kind of things. It was it was which question it was? Four, four, four. Come down, yeah, fourth yes. one, right? Yeah. yeah, see, it's a five, then 30. I so think, this uh, zero is mm -hmm. the uh, 25 then 30 then 35 so that uh, scale is the similar if no. you go there then 0 to 50 that distance between 0 to 80 and here is the is difference so see the, the gap scale. between 0 and 30 and there uh, zero with 50 so 50 okay, okay i think uh karthik and i will check uh, okay that things i will check and uh, we'll let you know what is the issue, okay? I think, uh, I think sir, yeah, the question is okay, answer is also right, sir. Yeah, yeah, Sunil, uh, I'm getting your point as well, but uh, I think, uh, yeah, I will check, uh, I will check it's this It's not question. about the answer being right or wrong. The question is about uh, that, I mean, visually it is misleading, you know? That, that's yeah, what visually the point is misleading, is. see, see. If you go in the, yeah, one second. If you go in the FAQ, uh, Karthik, so yes, manipulated y axis means what is something to go in the FAQ. Uh, I can show you, yeah, one second, it's opening. So if, if, if you can see what is the manipulated y, manipulation of y axis means 
suppose you are something compressing or expanding on a graph right in this graph you can easily see uh, a significant number of uh, sales of a smartphone uh, okay phone a and b on a local shop but if you compress the things it i mean initially it doesn't not i mean we did not get a quick idea whether it's a significant number or not only see only seeing the bars okay okay so i mean that might be the case here as well no here i mean there is no question of i mean if you are giving only one yeah. thing you cannot find out whether the x axis y axis is manipulated or not if it with only one data in front of you so yeah okay okay that things uh, i will check and let you know no worry about that okay yeah okay sir that okay. Uh, yeah that it was in 2.1 and 2.4 question number 4 right 2.4 question number 4 and 2.1 uh, the question one of the questions where they have asked you about the statistics uh, i mean marks yeah 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 i i got i, I got your point just uh, yeah i will tell you i mean i will discuss with the team and let you know what is the things okay oh, okay, sir. No okay yeah, thank yeah. you very much yeah. Yeah, yeah 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 yes so after you i think oh, this is so confusing no which one this manipulated by x is why it is not being answered there and he was right yeah i will check i will check which uh, what should be the correct no worry about that just manipulation why x is missed if there is something i mean uh, let me share my screen okay which uh, this i one i have explained okay suppose uh, from where you can get the idea suppose this is the zero this is the 10 uh, sudden is started from the uh, 45 then 50 then 55 then 60 so here is what we have done some manipulation okay but it's not showing so this is something which is called the manipulated y axis okay if this break is shown right like uh, in the previous example then this is called something y axis break where uh, i mean your y axis is not manipulated i mean are you getting if manipulation is done but it's not so so are you getting my point or not what is the manipulated y axis hello excuse me sir sir got it yeah, yeah. sir in practice assignment 2.2 क्वेश्चन में 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 दिया हुआ ग्राफ ग्राफ 200 तक इसलिए मिसलीडिंग होगा बाय एक्सिस प्लीज रीड ऑल क्वेश्चंस 2.2 व्हिच क्वेश्चन 2.2 टू क्वेश्चन नंबर क्वेश्चन नंबर टू प्रैक्टिस असाइनमेंट 2.1 सर सॉरी क्वेश्चन नंबर टू actually in this uh, after each refresh we will get a different set of question so is this this one no sir okay let me refresh some more times this one no sir 2.1 okay. what is the question yeah what is the question just tell me is that this no sir question okay what is the question yeah just tell me a teacher conducted a statistics exam for 100 marks and the marks obtained by the student are plotted in figure 2.2.a to mm -hmm. all category of misleading graph if any for the graph in figure 2.2.a more than one option can be correct Okay, so what is doubt? What is your doubt in that question? Hello. A teacher conducted a statistics exam. No, no, I'm asking about. No, no, I got. Uh, I'm asking about what question is. Question number two. Practice assignment. I'm asking what is your doubt in that question? What is your particular Action. doubt? Action. Because Action. I rephrase uh, many times, I did. I'm not able to get that question. See after e refreshing sir, each refresh. 
ऑप्शन आर करेक्ट मिसलीडिंग बायोग्राफ तो इसमें हो गई ए बस में डाउट है आह लेट मी रिफ्रेश सम मोर टाइम्स विच दे एम डिड नॉट एबल टू गेट बोथ मिसिंग बेस लाइन एंड मैनुपलेटेड बाय एक इज ट्रू है आह वन सेकंड इसलिए आई एम नॉट गेटिंग यार द क्वेश्चन Anyone uh, maybe else? maybe I can help with what is the question number? Uh, it was. Uh, uh, let yes. me share my yes. screen because I have not refreshed it. Okay, can I share my screen? Actually, yeah, this one. Ah, uh, teacher, under this. I think this one, right? Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. This question. Yeah, we were discussing. Ah, uh, this. What is your doubt in this one? इन दिस ऑप्शंस इसमें सही है जो भी इसमें ऑप्शन होगा अब इसमें कंफ्यूजन हो रहा था ना मैनिपुलेटेड बाय एक्सिस नहीं होगा बट होगा ओके डेटा में 100 मैक्सिमम दिया हुआ है और 200 तक ग्राफ में इस वजह से क्वेश्चन पूरा 100 मार्क्स मैक्सिमम ओके ओके या दैट इज द समथिंग आई कैन अंडरस्टैंड बट बिकॉज या एक्सक्यूज मी सर यू कैन सी फ्रॉम द बेस लाइन 0 टू 50 That yeah, Sunil, I got, yeah, I got your point because see here, if you see the distance between fifty to eighty is larger, uh, in as compared to, uh, fifty, right? Zero to fifty. Yes. Yeah, but it's not here. Zero is not mentioned. Suppose it's fifty, then difference between fifty to eighty should be less. First thing, second thing, uh, Muskan's point is also I think it's correct because it's showing here is manipulation is done. It goes up to two hundred. But yes, it sir. should be up to yes, maximum hundred. Then it, it uh, see here in the y-axis manipulation is done. Manipulation is done means uh, some extra manipulation is, uh, is done. It uh, it it make up to two hundred. But there is no need to making up to two hundred. Yes, sir. That's why it's manipulated y-axis as well and misleading baseline is yes. the present here. Yes. Karthike and I think uh, this is the uh, correct answer. Karthikeyan has doubt in this one. Karthikeyan, uh, is it clear now? What is the thing? I think he is not there. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, thank you, Swami. Yeah. So, so sir, basically, what what you just uh, discussed a while ago, yeah. that if if yeah. it's if it's like compressed, like uh, like y-axis manipulation, if it's compressed, so in this yes, case yes. they have yeah. stretched the graph. So Expand. the values are pretty. They pretty have expanded. Uh, I mean, they have done some manipulation on the y-axis. Okay. No, no, so I, I, I totally got the point. Actually, like what, what, what is actually yeah. happening on the y-axis? What I, was, what I was trying to say is, uh, in, in the example you said, uh, compressing the data or something, but it also works as like in the sense if we stretch it, like, like in this graph, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So in this mm -hmm. case, they have like they have done the stretching. So that's what. Yes. Yes. Oh, okay. Got it. Yeah. Got it. Got it? Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. Sir. So Muskan after Muskan. Hey, uh, uh, Prashant, Prashant, uh, just a point. Yeah, just yes. Point here. Look, stretching the graph uh, mm -hmm. is technically not a manipulation of the y. Maybe you want to check it up. But uh, you talking about synchronization you know, of the axis? Is it? Ah, yeah, ah. see, see. So, so let let's not uh, you know what you call conclude that because my range, mm -hmm. um, you know, has exceeded uh, you know the highest uh, what you call it value. Okay. That's a rational why uh, we say that why is manipulated is not something concluded. You might want to check back and get. Okay. Okay. So I think. Uh, okay. Then yes, yeah, I will check it. But uh, but as for now, uh, it's, it should be manipulated because see here the distance is kind of something first thing. Second thing, there is manipulation for up to two hundred. So that's I suppose there is no no need up to two hundred. I think then I this think bar will be up to something, uh, you know, upward size, right? I, 
sir i think it's manipulated because of uh, the gap between 0 to 50 means 50 is the difference and uh, yes yes that, that is, is the one thing yeah. that is the one thing but uh, yeah that is one thing but uh, i will check the rest of the things and uh, let you know guys no need to worry okay is it clear or any doubt in this hello as is it okay now yes sir thank you sir Sunil Kumar has raised hand. Yes, yeah, Sunil, uh, what is your doubt? Yeah, okay, sir, I am okay. Thank you, sir. Okay, 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 thanks. So, Pius Raj has raised hand. Yes, Pius? Yes, sir. Yeah, what is doubt? Sir, my doubt in uh, graded assignment. So, please, sir. Graded assignment of question sorry? Two. Uh, question number two, sir. sir um, um, some conceptual doubt in week two mm, yes sir okay okay what is your what is your doubt mm, sir question number two what is the yeah. aggregate distribution mm. okay see aggregate means you have to find the total marks of in physics maths and biology i mean your aggregate means you have to sum the marks Sir, yes, yes. That means the aggregate dis uh, aggregate distribution of marks. Means you have to add the marks. Aggregately, you have to uh, consider. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. And uh, uh, physics, chemistry, or biology ke marks ko add karke hai. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Sir, in same assignment, the question number hmm. uh, fifth. Question number fifth, okay. So, like in doubt? question number four, uh, we can calculate relative frequency by taking the values of uh, that unknown variables that three x. Mm -hmm. We can mm -hmm. calculate a, co a combined relative frequency of that three variables, but how we can get the median? See, that is the thing you have to think. Uh, no, 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 hold on, hold on, Prashant. One uh, thing is that yeah. are these not graded assignment questions? Yeah, this is graded assignment. We are not discussing the solution, yeah. SJ. One uh, has I doubt what is the meaning of aggregate. Doubt. Yeah. yeah uh, SJ, no need to worry about. We are, we are not discussing the solution. One student has, I think, Pius has doubt what is the meaning of aggregate. That's I no, no, that I agree. That was actually it is not proper yeah. English, uh, yeah. in true sense. In oh. fact, it is a wording yeah, problem. Yeah. All right. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. I believe uh, Prashant that uh, we should not uh, spend so much of time in graded. But I will leave to you. No, as a, I mean, I thought uh, what was the issue? Suppose someone has doubt in terms of any uh, terms, then you know, we can discuss. But we will not discuss the solutions. Okay, so yeah, what is the doubt? So see, median is something you have to consider. So I see, I cannot tell you how you have to compute uh, the median at all things. You have to use the concept of median for uh, your category. Okay. So, uh, so just tell uh, me that we can calculate median for that values also. Is it? See, I I mean, you have to think about that there. Okay. So, Sir, what is the meaning of combined relative frequency? Where is combined relative frequency? Yeah, combined relative frequency. I mean, you have to consider the combined. I mean, combined is you have to consider the relative frequencies of A, B, and D uh, together. That's it. So we have added uh, A plus B plus C there. A plus. It's on you. It's on you. It's on you. Whether you are adding. Yeah, so any uh, any one of you, any doubt regarding any activity, practice and all things? So we can ask uh, doubts from week three also? Week three, see, uh, basically this is this session is specific for week two. So kindly ask week two for the uh, session for the week three will be will conducted. OK, no need to. Yeah, OK, okay sir. So, yeah. Yeah, Bharti has raised and after you can see. 
या भारती व्हॉट इज युअर This is uh, activity questions, not graded questions. Uh, one point nine. Activity one point nine. One point nine. Uh, question number two. Can you explain, sir? Activity one point nine. Yeah, activity questions, not graded. See, see, there is no one point nine at all. There is. That is, uh, I think, one... week one. No, in week one, it's only uh, activity one point four, not one point nine. No, sir. Uh, sorry, one point one, one point nine only. Yeah, sir, one point nine only. Yeah, sir, one point nine only. No, there is no any one point nine activity, right? There is only four activity. I mean, one point one, one point two, one point. After functions, after functions, activity questions. functions week 1 lesson one next is the varthi i think uh, this uh, in which i mean in this subject you are asking what this is for the statistics math, sir i'm sorry is in math yeah varthi this session is for statistics so sorry okay sorry. Yeah, yeah. yeah 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 this is like so as i can see Muskan as the Kartikeyan, Vikas as Rezan. So Vikas, do you have any doubt? Question number one. Which one? 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 Right. Yeah. Let me run that question. <clears throat> okay. So yeah. What is your doubt in this? I mean, can you tell me what was your approach first? Hello, Vikas. Hello. Question yeah, yeah. Can you tell me? Yeah, yeah. I I got this question number nine. Can you tell me what was your approach? Total one twenty. When we had a number of patient checked, but in question number ten, so ten only x value. I mean, can you repeat? Ah, uh, you have doubt in question number nine, right? Yes, yeah, sir. So I am asking. Can you tell me what was your approach in first? I mean, how how you approach with this question? Number of checked relative frequency is a 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 number of checked relative frequency x value of x is 20 sir but so in my activity 10 no it's not possible you can check can you check one minutes yeah it's 20 correct answer is 20 yes yeah, sir yes. you find the yeah you find the you have applied the formula of relative frequency frequency divided by n You got one twenty, right? So yeah. how can you find the value of x? One twenty minus rest of the ah one twenty minus fifteen plus twenty plus fifteen, then nineteen um, plus twenty plus eleven. You will get the one twenty minus ah uh, some of the these value. You will get correct answer. Yes, yeah, okay? sir. Okay, thank you. Yeah. So yeah, this is so yeah. Any one of you have any doubt? Hello, sir. Yeah, yes, please. Sir, my question is for representing the ordinary data in the form of Pareto chart. Frequency matters or not? So we just represent the data on the basis of order. See, we have to consider. Yeah, we had discussed just uh, some few minutes before. Actually, if, if our data is is in ordinal, so we have to keep 
order right we have to maintain the order of the data set that's it okay so sir, what about sir frequency then see about frequency see but uh, that's uh, we had uh, discussed actually yeah once again sir, can you explain sir one once again see, see what was the doubt see if my data is is in ordinal right Okay, right. Okay, yes. Sir. My bar chart should preserve the order. That is the simple. Thing. Yes, right. Sir. Means this suppose S S three, suppose as M S two, L S four, S one. Okay. So that means we have to first draw the S. Okay. Then okay, for M, and then for large, and then for X. Okay. That means we need to preserve the order. That means small, then medium, <laughs> then large, then. So okay, for add to chart, sir. Okay. So see, but see, in this case, bar chart is best practice. Means bar chart. See, what is the Pareto? Pareto is nothing but you you arrange the data in your uh, in ascending order or descending order. Yes, sir. Right. Yes, so suppose sir. here, if you arrange your data in ascending or ascending or descending order, then our order will fail. Right. Yes, sir. So order will fail. I mean, in this particular example, it might be like uh, S is three, M is four. Okay, large is five, and Excel is six. Then in this case, if you see. Uh, my order is also preserved, and uh, as well as it's it's uh, it's in. Uh, so only four, in this case, sir. Five six. Okay. So okay, in sir. this case, uh, my order is also preserved, and frequency is also preserved. I mean. Yes. Yes, sir. So both. The, what is the funda? What is the funda? We have to I mean maintain the order. That's. Okay. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. So there is raise hand as I can see. Ah. Uh, Habib Khan has risen. Yes, please. What is your doubt? In practice assignment week three second second practice assignment. Week three. Not, not practice assignment. Just activity questions. In week three, Habib. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Two. So actually, this is this session is for week two. So yeah, we can discuss, but uh, because three point two activity three point two. uh yeah was it uh see uh, any one of you a doubt in this week too hello any one of you have doubt in week too any activity question or any practice question at all yes sir yeah what is your abhi uh, we will discuss week 3 i mean later because this is this i mean So okay, there sir, is okay, uh, sessions for week three as well. Okay, sir. Okay. Uh, meanwhile, you can put put uh, post on the discussion discourse as well. Okay. Okay, sir. So, okay. This for so, week two specific. So, yeah. Yeah. So what is mm -hmm. mean and how we get? Sorry. What is mean? Mode, median, and mean. What is mean? Mean for what? Categorical data or numerical data? Both. Mean okay. Okay. So, can you tell me? Uh, can you com compute the mean for the categorical data? Hello, Tripti. Uh, can you tell me? Uh, uh, will you be able to compute the mean for the categorical data? No. so you you can compute mean only for the numerical yeah, data man. suppose yeah you have suppose categorical data like this so is there make is there any sense a plus a plus b plus b b divided by 2 uh, divided by 4 so i mean we cannot perform any uh, mathematical operation on categorical data so mean cannot be computed for the categorical data Okay, and uh, for numerical data and all things, uh, you will study. You will be studying in the week three. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, 
Siddharth Sharma Hello, has sir. raised hand. Yes, Siddharth. Sir. What is your? Sir, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. Yes, please. Yes, I sir, can so, hear uh, you. Can you please explain the question which is on your screen? So, number of patient checks is fifteen. So, sir, I was not able to okay. solve this question. So, sir, I used the hit and trial method, and I was able to get that fifteen divided by one twenty is zero point one two five, and so i will i am not able to understand like how can we solve the question without using the hit and okay so method. this is not a hit and trial method okay siddhant uh, you know what is the relative frequency i am representing here by rf okay for simplicity okay. so you know relative frequency of any observation is nothing but the frequency of that observation divided by total number of observation yes. that is the uh, definition of the relative frequency right yes sir so if if you see in this uh, example in this table what is the frequency frequency is 15 uh, for sunday yes okay and relative frequency is 0.125 yes so relative frequency is 0.125 and frequency is 15 divided by n right so i, I can do n equal to 15 divided by 0.125 which is 120 so here i get total number of check patient is 120 right understood now so just you have to apply the formula of relative frequency okay understood now thank you is it clear yeah yeah it's clear hello sir oh. yeah yes please sir categorical categorical data can take numerical values yeah see categorical data you can uh, i mean it can be coded in numbers But that number is used only for the labeling, right? Yes, sir. Not for uh, mathematical things. Like I can label as C. I can label female as one, male as zero, right? Hmm. So here, female is coded as one in numbers. Male is coded in zero. Just for labeling. I mean, we cannot say like yeah, one plus zero by two or one plus zero or one minus zero. We cannot perform anything because it's just a label for the female and for the male. That's it. Oh, sir, or and uh, it can meaningful mathematical operation? No, no. See, categorical data is something on which uh, you cannot perform any meaningful mathematical operation, right? So that's why I took the example. Is there many? Uh, is, is this make any sense? One plus zero by two. I mean, for here you know, one means female, uh, zero means male. So we can't say like female plus male by two, right? Yes, yeah, that's why it's a categorical data, and categorical data can take numbers only for coding. I mean, label purpose and all things. Yes, sir. thank you. Thank you. Yeah. So, can say raise. You sir, as raise and Karthikeya raise and so. Any one of you any doubt? Hello. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, please. Sir. Uh, activity two point three, question number one. Two point three, question number one. Okay. What is? Uh, I didn't understand option two. What is the meaning of option two? Group of categories in frequency table is done when we have categories with the same frequency, right? Okay. So I didn't understand the option. Yeah, yeah. I I will explain. See, that is the meaning. Suppose you have category with the same, okay? A lot, a too many categories. Like if you see for E, F, G, H, I, J, up to uh, uh, one second. So yeah, if you see here, from E to J, there is too many categories with the same frequency. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, so sir. So if you go further, so what is the meaning of uh, to uh, doing together is this? So this below bar chart. So if you see from E to J, it's up up around up to around twenty two letters because A B C D is four letters. From E to J is twenty two letters. So we merge all the twenty two letters in a single bar, right? Which is in form of others. So that is the meaning of uh, that. Uh, 
example oh. we have to okay, group categories with the same frequency okay okay sir so is it clear that one yes sir yeah if you see if you see this uh, now if you can see you have a lot of uh, categories with the same frequency we have to merge them so that is the uh, meaning of the uh, meaning the option two grouping of categories in frequency table is done when we have categories with the same frequency that means option two is also correct see in the case uh, okay so what is the grouping of categories in frequency table is done when we have categories with the same frequency so a pi z is wish to be the proportion of i think a and c should be the correct no not a c is the correct option right yes sir check. c is correct okay let me check okay so why a is not correct because it is talking about share and share must be represented by the pie chart but why b is not correct if you are if you are yeah saying, once grouping of categories in the frequency table uh is done when we have categories with the same frequency uh, i think we are doing that right yeah yeah one second one second let me when we have categories with the same frequencies okay rajit uh, i will check this one okay we check this okay what is the things okay. any one of you uh no this one thank you sir yes sir yeah sunil has reason yes sunil i think there, there is a written table isn't it that is a table and graph is different i, am, I have also doubt sir yeah one second one second group of categories in the frequency table I will, I will, I will look into it. Okay, and I will tell you in the next session, or just post on the. Uh, you can post on the discussion group that we can uh, remember these things. Okay, I will look into it. No worry about that. Okay, grouping of categories in frequency table is done when we have categories with the same frequencies. Okay, I will look into it, Rajit. Okay. Okay, sir. You can just, just yeah, just post on the discussion forum as well. will uh, I mean, so that we can remember or otherwise we'll tell you in the next session okay okay sir but i don't yeah. know how to post an on discussion okay. forum so prashant may i try answering that though yeah yeah yes please if, all right first, yeah. so yeah so i think the question is why the option number 2 is wrong correct grouping of cat yes, categories yes. <laughs> uh, see yes, sir. probably we need to understand now if let's say you have a category 1 and a category let's say category a and a category b and both okay. have the same frequency okay let's take a, you know x percentage and y percentage now just because that they have the same frequency you cannot group into one category it will still remain two separate categories so the rational behind the statement is it, when you are doing a graphing or you know pieing or bar charting let us say yeah, that yeah. you have two categories of the same frequency you cannot club it into a single category i hope that makes okay. sense okay okay but yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. In the but in yeah, the rajit, video rajit, rajit. yeah rajit rajit video is what yeah i got the point of as a video video is uh, about then you have too many categories right yes yes okay that okay, might be 1 1 2 1 2 and all things then you yes. need to uh do in the one thing uh okay Stop. i didn't understand sir uh, okay sir, see what 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 was in the video uh, in the video it was around uh, one second I'm doing clubbing, but uh, sir. Yeah, yeah. Yes, please. Uh, sir, uh, it is not mandatory uh, for frequencies to be same to be clubbed. If others have uh, yeah, it it might be different also. Ah, uh, so that is why I think uh, 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 it, 
the option is incorrect yeah one second one second see see what is the a bar or pie chart with too many categories might consider the it's um, i mean it more, uh, more important categories so grouping at it uh, other categories might be done so it's not about yeah avinas is right and sj is also right because it's not about with the same frequency it can be different as well okay rajit it suppose this all the things are different right suppose at the e is 1 at the f is 2 or at the g is 1 then 2 i mean it's it might be different also it's not true uh, in general for the when it's the same frequency but if you see in the option b it, it is asking about the grouping of categories when we have categories with the same frequency we try to be focus here it can be different but when you have to, uh, too many categories then you have to merge sir can you play Can you draw a bar graph for that? Sorry. Can you draw a bar graph for that or table with an example? Can you show? Okay. See what what is the question? Question is when you have too many categories, right? So suppose yes, this sir. is, yeah, this is the A, right? Suppose this is the B, this is the C, and this is the D, right? And then yes, might be let's say it's E, then it's F, then it's G, then it's H, then it's I, then it's J, then it's K, then it's L, and so on, right? So it's not necessary to when you I mean you have to group the categories when all of us have same frequency. It might be different frequency, right? Sir, ma'am, so just just sir, but yeah. My question is sir. Mm -hmm. But according to according to the option that uh, is is it possible to club or not? But it is possible, sir. It is it might be possible to. Um, yeah, it group. might be possible, but you cannot say in general as well. But uh, you say in general. Or... I mean, see, suppose you are making any conclusion, so can you yes, say sir. in general it should be always true? No, sir. No, so that's why. Okay, sir. Okay. Otherwise, uh, if you have doubt, then we'll. I mean, I will check also these things. But as for now, I think it's one. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Yeah, yeah. So after you, I think. Uh, there is any one of you have any doubt? hello any one of you have doubt uh, regarding any activity i mean activity question or practice question uh, hello am i audible right no sir i'm not audible no no sir you sir. are audible but there is no doubt okay sir. so No one has doubt, right? So okay, so. <clears throat> uh if you are not doubt then i think uh, we can close the session right okay so, sir yeah okay, yeah. sir thank you sir so, yeah thank, thank you, you sir. very much to all of you uh thank i you, hope thank you sir thank you thank you sir. your doubts was clear and uh, rest of the things so uh, we i mean i will discuss that option grouping of the categories doubt things and uh, we'll let you know so yeah so i think uh, tuesday is uh, solve the session for week 2 so try to attend the session and okay yeah okay. so when we meet again uh, yeah see uh, tuesday solve the session which will be live on youtube okay and uh,
cold. In I mean Monday to Friday there is office hours two to four. So you can come there and ask your doubt as well. Okay, sir. Thank you, that sir. That is just yeah. That is something uh, interaction, not that I mean streaming sir, on you YouTube. You haven't given any uh, form to fill. For what? So usually uh, the instructors give us a form to fill. Okay, okay. 